towering HDBs, a bustling town. These are all things that we envision when we think of Passeries. But amongst all this lush and beautiful greenery lies another world that remains elusive to many of us. Hi, I'm Oliver, and follow me as I bring you along to explore the secret inhabitants of Passeries. Mangroves have always been a big part of Singapore's ecosystem. In the 1820s, mangroves made up 13% of Singapore's total land area. Today, only 0.5% remains, and much of these are military or state land. The Passeries mangrove is one of the few places where you can explore the mangrove and its inhabitants, aided by a series of walking trails. It's really a shame they have lost so much of our mangroves since they are such an interesting and important ecosystem. The mangrove lies between the land and the sea. This means that the conditions are salty, muddy and harsh. These challenging conditions have created unique environments for certain creatures to thrive. Without further ado, let me introduce you to the animals that call the mangroves home. But before that, we have to wait for the sky to get dark. As the sun sets, another group of inhabitants wake up from their slumber and roam into the night. Look up at the trees and immediately you'll notice the sheer amount of spiders that call the mangroves home. Here, we see a two-tailed spider. It gets its name from, you guessed it, it's two long spinnerets that look like tails. It also camouflages perfectly against the bark. Other masters of camouflage include this moth that looks like a leaf. And if hiding from your predators is not your style, how about dazzling and distracting them? Look no further than the plant hopper nymph, which looks like a ball of walking cotton wool. If distracting the predator doesn't work, the plant hopper nymph will just hop away to safety which is how it derives its name. But even camouflage and jumping away might not be enough to protect an insect from one of the most fearsome predators of the jungle, the spider. Back to the world of spiders, let me introduce you to the huntsman spider, which is one of the most common spiders found in Singapore's jungles. They are large spiders, often growing up to palm-sized. They are also efficient predators, directly chasing and hunting their prey instead of building webs. Huntsman spiders, despite their terrifying size, are not dangerous to humans. However, female huntsman spiders are extremely aggressive when it comes to defending their young and will deliver a painful bite. Here we see a female huntsman taking care of its eggs, which it hides in a white pouch in between two leaves. Here you see the newly hatched spiders, and at this point they are known as spiderlings. Spiders are very high up on the creepy crawly food chain due to a few evolutionary advantages, which are exemplified by the jumping spider. The jumping spider is equipped with a powerful jump, superpower vision, as well as an intelligent mind. These skills make the jumping spider a formidable predator. They use their eyesight to gain a 360 degree view of the world around them before planning out intricate routes to sneak up on and outsmart their prey. In fact, research has shown that jumping spiders actually demonstrate genuine cognition. In other words, they think before they act, and when their plan doesn't work out, they adapt and take a detour. All you have to do is look into the jumping spider's eyes, and you'll see the intelligence that lies behind it. Now let's take our eyes off the trees and move our focus to the mangrove floor, which is teeming with creatures of all sizes. Let me first talk about the crabs that call the mangroves home. One interesting fact is that many of them are tree climbers. Usually, they stay in their burrows, found at the base of trees and mud lobster mounds. However, at dusk, they climb trees in order to feed on leaves as well as to avoid aquatic predators. Some species have been observed climbing up trees to heights of more than 6 meters. Crabs are considered a keystone species in the ecosystem since they play an important role in the processes of nutrient cycling and energy transfer. Another keystone species is the mudskipper. They are important bioindicators in environmental monitoring of pollution 
since they are extremely sensitive to water conditions. An alternative bioindicator will be ants, and the study of their behaviour can reveal the degree of man-made impact on the environment. Ants are actually fascinating creatures and display some of the most interesting and complex programs of social behaviour in animals. In every colony, there's a hierarchical social structure and division of labour, allowing for the coordination of thousands of ants in the colony. Wait, what's that sound? That's the hiss of a mangrove pit viper. The pit viper has a rather angry looking face and has an aggressive personality to match. When distressed, this snake will grip onto a branch with its tail before whipping the rest of its body for the lethal bite. Its powerful hemotoxic venom can cause severe illness or even kill. On a less dangerous note to end this video, let's take a look at this very cute slug. Orange slugs are very well camouflaged slugs and are common on all our shores and mangroves. They graze on films of algae that grow on the mud and rocks. <sighs> Sorry, the slow moving slug is rather hypnotizing and I can already feel my eyelids closing. In that case, I guess I'll just go take a nap and end this video. Thank you for tuning in and see you on the next video. This is Oliver from Capture the Elusive and Peace out.